Hey you guys, we're back here today in the shop and I have here with me the X-Carve CNC and we're over here in Easel and I want to show a few things to you. If you're using a different CNC or you're not using Easel, I mean these are things, good things to know about, but this problem that I want to show you guys today really impacts X-Carve users who are using Easel, who've used Easel in the past few months and I guess a few months going forward, depending on how long it takes Inventables to actually implement the fix for this. Uh, now there's an issue over here in Easel and it involves your machine settings, all right? So I'm going to go over here and show you. You can go to General Settings and then Machine Inspector. You can also use the hotkeys Control Shift D and it will open this same page, this Machine Inspector page. And if you're connected to a CNC like I am over here with the Xcarve, then you can see the firmware version of your CNC and a bunch of other settings that pop up down here immediately, right? And what happened was with the new easel driver version that forced people to do a new machine setup within easel and if you're running an x carve that pushed some gerbil settings to your machine that are actually wrong well if you're using a newer version x carve the uh post november 2021 or you have the linear um, z-axis upgrade on your machine then it's going to push these new settings to your machine that are actually wrong and can cause issues with carving depths all right so i'm just going to show you those settings real quick and it's right in here so starting at about 100 going down we have like uh calibration and movement settings right so these top three here are your calibration settings and um those change based on which z axis you have and and uh some machine specific stuff right whether you have the six millimeter nine mill millimeter belts uh on an X-Carve or a different CNC machine is also going to use different values too. And then over in here, we have the um, a maximum feed rate, the 110 and 111 that your CNC can run at, and the maximum plunge rate your CNC can run at. And this one right here is going to be our problem child for this video. And then the rest of this, this is the acceleration values, and these are generally okay. These haven't changed in a long time for the X-Carve. And then down here is the maximum work area of your CNC. But this isn't what that video is about. The video is about the problem that the guys over at Easel created recently, right? So see that how it says 500 for dollar sign 112? This is the, this is the uh, maximum speed that your CNC can plunge up and down. No matter what I tell Easel to plunge it at, it's going to plunge no faster than that speed right there, 500 millimeters per minute. And it's going to feed rate around no faster than these two, 8,000 millimeters per minute, right? So I can program in 500 inches per minute in here, and it doesn't go that fast because it'll only go 500 millimeters per minute, which if we do some math, equates to 19.68 inches per minute. So our maximum plunge rate on an X-Car is supposed to be 19.68 inches per minute. And we come up here to the defaults that... Um, Inventables for rides to us. I'm going to put a link to this down in the first pinned comment down below. So if you want to click on this and see what the defaults are for the different machines, you can do that. But the default maximum plunge rate for the newest X Carve, which is this one here, right, is 500 millimeters per minute, just like mine is set to right now. The default for the older version X Carve is the same, 500 millimeters per minute. So there's no reason why that should change when I come over here and I do a new machine setup and I select either the old one with the new Z-axis, the upgrade, or if I select the new one, which are also has that upgrade, it's gonna cause this problem. So I'm gonna continue with setup, it's gonna to link to the machine, and when it links, it's going to push these settings to it. All of the settings that Inventables thinks that this machine should have for it, right? Which it only pushes a few settings to the machine, not all of them, but in that process, it, uh, let me unplug this and plug it back in. it pushes that dollar sign 112 setting and unfortunately you'll see what happens here i'm just going to zoom through these pages just to get to that screen to show you the problem i'm going to go back in and press Control shift d to open that same page and if we scroll down to the bottom now hey look at that we've got a problem we've got 2000 now as our value when it's clearly supposed to be 500 according to the Inventables website. So what happened is somehow the default Gerbil settings that get pushed to your X-Carve 
uh, if it has that linear rail Z axis, the new one are wrong and it pushes one that's way too fast. And what actually happens is when your CNC tries to turn a stepper motor too fast, it can cause phase lockup inside. And that basically means that the, the motor is trying to, the electronics are trying to spin the motor faster than it physically can. And it causes it to sort of lock up and that prevents it from moving uh, just for a second or two. And what will happen is it does this while plunging and it can cause issues with either not plunging deep enough or not lifting high enough out of a plunge, right? So it causes uh, lost steps in the Z axis. So what we need to do here is go, if you have an X carve, I suggest you go to this machine inspector, you scroll to the bottom, and if that dollar sign 112 says 2000, go back up to the top and you can type in the command dollar sign 112 equals 500. Hit enter. And now you're right back to the defaults. Now you can go over here and click this little refresh button over here on the right hand side. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a refresh icon right here. And that's going to update these by rereading them, right? So it still says 2000. You're clicking this refresh button over here. And now it just updated them. And now it says 500. So that confirms that it took my settings change. All right. So now it's not going to do that phasing lockup inside the stepper motor. Now you can probably squeeze this a little bit higher. So I'm going to link you guys to um, a buddy of mine, James Dean Design, shows how to kind of tune your CNC to find the optimal um, acceleration and maximum feed and plunge rate for your CNC. You can kind of run through a bunch of tests and possibly tune that higher. Now, the reason I say that is if you haven't seen my video about speeding up 3D carves, that is one of the keys to speeding up your 3D carve finishing pass is to get this plunge rate as high as you can um without making it phase lockup now i suggest slowly tuning it up and doing a bunch of testing until you find phase lockup and then reducing it down off of that and that's what his video shows so i'm gonna link you guys to that video also in the pinned comment below check that out um, if you're interested in tuning your cnc to its real maximum speeds to uh, expedite your carbs, all right? I hope this video did help you guys out, and uh, when you do go down below to get those links, make sure you hit the like button on the way. I really appreciate it, and it does help this video get out to other uh, like-minded CNC owners who are interested in this sort of stuff, all right? Thank you, guys, and uh, have a great weekend.